Well, it's amazing what they had to say, but first let me show you this. These right here are the tracks where the truck hit the SUV, and the man whose family was hit says he's not going to judge police for their decision to pursue. The initial thought was a shock, you know. Frank Lover is stunned. One minute, his wife was driving his 16-year-old daughter home from school. The next, they were in the hospital struggling to survive after a criminal police were pursuing smashed into the back of their SUV. Extreme anger um, that innocent people, my family, uh, were injured because of someone that you know, doesn't care about other people. It started yesterday afternoon when this man, face completely disguised in yellow, robbed a Winter Park chiropractor, put a gun to the back of his head. And he says, give me your money. And so I'm like, my initial thought was, what money? The suspect got his money, then drove off in a stolen truck. Winter Park police caught up with the robber, tried to do a traffic stop, but the crook kept driving, and so did Winter Park police. A pursuit that came to a violent end in a Castleberry neighborhood when the robber plowed into this SUV. Inside was 16-year-old Leah Lover and her mother Kimberly. Kimberly is now breathing through tubes is still sedated, have not spoken to her. She has not been alert. Uh, she has um, fractured ribs and a badly bruised lung. 16-year-old Leah has a fractured vertebrae in her neck, punctured spleen, broken ribs, broken hips. Still, Frank Lover says he does not judge the police department. It's hard to say not not pursue him. I mean, the guy just had arm robbed somebody, and uh, you, you want to get the guy. You know what else he's going to do? Now, Frank says his family should recover from their injuries, and the robber still has not been caught. Live in Seminole County, Michelle Merritt of West News.